This is Gene Key, KDD News. NewsChannel10.com reports the situation process to kill the adenovirus at the Pampa Animal Shelter continues this week. Since Friday, the Pampa Animal Shelter has been trying to kill the virus that was causing many dogs at the center to become ill and eventually die. The problem stirred up a lot of concern when the shelter announced its solution, which involves a complete sanitation process of the facility, meaning all dogs, including the healthy ones, would either have to be adopted out or euthanized. About a dozen dogs found homes while a handful of others didn't. Volunteers are calling it a tragedy. The shelter is killing the virus through a professional and expensive steaming process. Shelter volunteers say it will take more than that to keep the new animals healthy there. Come May, Pampa City Commissioners will allow residents to vote whether to approve construction for a new shelter. The estimated cost for a new shelter is about $3 million. Due to the continued dry, windy conditions of the past months across the Texas Panhandle, a report like this just doesn't raise an eyebrow. Potter County firefighters responded to a report of a grass fire near the boundary of Potter and Moore counties on U.S. Highway 287 yesterday. That turned out to be blowing dust, fire officials said. ConnectAmarillo.com reports more than 1,000 students will be performing at the Amarillo Civic Center over the next couple of days. Major competition including Dumas High School students. The students are part of the UIL Orchestra Competition where they perform three pre-selected pieces and a sight-reading competition with music they've never seen before. The public is invited. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook.